What happens if a party is behind on their child support obligation? In Texas, if you get behind on your child support or medical support, you may hear the court or another attorney commonly use the word arrearage. An arrearage, be it in a family law case or any time else, is specifically an amount of money that should have been paid at an earlier time that has not yet been paid. In the context of a family law case, this typically includes child support or possibly even medical support or worst case scenario, interest owed to the state. The court can handle an arrearage in a variety of ways. They can either confirm it, that states specifically, here's what you owe and here's how you're going to pay it back. Or worst case scenario, a party or possibly the attorney general has the ability to file an enforcement against you. In the context of a child support enforcement, a party is required to outline each specific violation of the underlying order. Each time that a child support payment is missed, this technically could be considered a violation of the underlying order. If an order has not yet been put into place, the court still has the ability to confirm an arrearage or possibly even retroactive child support. In this instance, the court will determine how much money should have been paid prior to the order as if an order was put into place months or even possibly years in the past. When looking at your underlying order, you may see that you now owe current child support, so money due at a date specific and into the future. Additionally, you may end up paying monies toward your arrearage. We call that a confirmation of arrearage and judgment to the same. In this scenario, let's say for example, you owe $2,000 in back child support. It's unlikely the court's gonna order you to pay that $2,000 in one big lump sum. It's more likely that the court is going to order you to pay $100, maybe $50, whatever your pay may allow, that money additional on top of your current child support obligation each month until the arrearage is gone. The state has the ability to ask for interest to be paid on that arrearage. As you would assume with the state, more oftentimes than not, they'll try to get theirs too. An arrearage can be in place both for child support and as mentioned, for medical support. So if your underlying order specifically orders you to pay cash medical support, possibly in the form of reimbursing a health insurance premium, you may be exposed to additional violations should you fail to pay your cash medical support. If you're behind on your child support or even your cash medical support and you're unsure on the next steps, head over to our website and do your research at familytexas.com.